Hello, welcome to Lab 8 and Carts Collide. Okay, now, this is a track lab and we've done lots of track labs already. So, I'm not going to talk about how you set the track up or how you shouldn't do things that make Greg, Greg mad or else he'll shoot you or something. I won't bring that up at all, okay? I won't bring it up at all. Just don't do it, okay? Okay? Now, in this car, this one, we're going to use two carts and two motion detectors. Now, the most important thing with the carts is make sure you get one cart that has a red dot and one cart that has a green or yellowish dot right there. Don't get two of the same kind or else you're going to have a hard time when you get to the later parts in the lab. Now, how do you make these carts collide? Well, you just push them at each other and they collide. Did you hear them collide? I didn't hear them collide. Let's try that again. Well, they must have collided because they started going opposite directions. Let's try that one more time. I still didn't hear them collide. Is my hearing going? No, it's not. What happens is there's magnets in here that make these carts repulsive. So, sort of like, no, never mind. I'm not going to bring that up. All right, so anyway, the carts are repulsive. And so they don't actually have to hit for the collision to take place. That's a good thing because what happens when they do hit, like that, first of all, these things come out, which is really a pain in the neck. All right? The other thing is that sound that you hear is energy leaving the system. And if we're trying to get into elastic collisions, we expect that energy is going to be conserved. Well, if they hit, bam, energy is not conserved. Some of that energy would be translated to um, sound energy, which we're not accounting for. So, what you want to do here is you want to do it slow enough so they don't actually touch. Okay? Now, you also have to be careful to make sure they stay on the track because if, if sometimes if they're not aligned quite right, they'll, like, one of them will move off a little bit. You don't want that. Now, that's basically the entire lab. You just have the carts go at each other and have the carts go at each other and have the carts go at each other. Different kinds of combinations. Sometimes you, you have, you have uh, uh, a 500 gram block, which is not that, but you put it on one of them. I forget which one, doesn't matter. And you do the do all the calculations that way. It, um, now you're gonna have to, to calculate momentum and you're gonna have to calculate kinetic energy. Okay, so let's talk about that. What's momentum? What's the formula for momentum? Well, as it turns out, I've got it written down on the board. So let's go over to the board and take a look. P, that stands for momentum, equals the mass of cart 1 times the velocity of cart 1 plus the mass of cart 2 times the velocity of cart 2. That's, you can use that either before or after in terms of the velocities, but you can't use them like one velocity before and one velocity after. Okay? Now the kinetic energy, on the other hand, it's the same kind of formula. 1 half mv1 squared plus 1 half mv2 squared. Again, you either use all the velocities before or all the velocities after. Now, the important thing to note here is there's actually a little bit of a mistake here. Just a tiny one. These ones here are vectors. Because momentum is a vector. So if you get a negative velocity, you, you're going to get a negative momentum. The kinetic energy, on the other hand, that isn't going to matter whether you have positive or negative uh, velocities. Why? because energy is not a vector. And also, if you look here, you see that the velocities are squared. So what happens to a negative number if it gets squared? It becomes positive. I'm positive of that. Are you positive now? Okay. So that's the important thing on there. The formulas are pretty easy. So what does the data itself look like? Well, let's take a quick look on Logger Pro and see what happens when you have a collision. What does the data look like? Let me get rid of all these things here first do it again. First we'll go to the outer, it's going to look something like this. Okay, we have the purple is one cart and the green is another cart. All right, now what you want to do is you want to zoom in on the area where the collision happens and then you take your statistics before the collision, right? You know, you get real close. Do statistics before, take them both. Again, you do the statistics after. 
and you take them both. Now you just fill out the sheet, calculate your momentums and, velo and, er and energies and your kinetic energies and you're in good shape. Okay, now a couple of very important things. Very important. Number one, don't create kinetic energy. If your energy is higher after the collision than before, then you have either developed a new source of renewable energy or you did something wrong. I'm betting on you doing something wrong. Number two, don't create momentum. The magnitude, as in the absolute value of the momentum, should not be higher after the collision than it is before. Okay? And number three, very important, with the uh, motion detectors, what you want to do is they're facing each other when you put them on there. So you have to reverse the direction of one of them so that they both have, they both sense the positive velocity in one direction. It doesn't matter whether it's this way or that way. It just matters that they both stay the same. So you have to reverse one of them and you can do that in a longer pro. Alright? Now, last thing is for your sanity check. What you do is you take one cart and you go back and forth. And you should see the two lines on the motion to take, on the longer pro, they should go right over top of each other. If they don't, you have a problem. Actually, you still might have a problem, even if they do. I don't know enough about your personal life right now. Okay, so that's how you do this lab. And the secret code for today is... What's the secret code? Captain America. Okay? Captain America. All right, then. I'll see you in lab real soon. Bye.